I'm going to get straight to it. This is going to be part two of Inky and Aaliyah, the Anunnaki story. Again, I said I believe I'm going to go up to three parts, even though, you know, here and there I may reference what you call Anunnaki. Um, some would not even say that they're alien, that they're interdimensional beings. Because some people believe that that's, there's a difference between what you would call an alien and an interdimensional being. But that's for a whole nother story. <coughs> Elil um, allegedly wasn't, and it wasn't too far in the human beings. And Enki, you know, took a liking for human beings. Some believe that they were just bad as a whole. And some believe that, you know, just like I just kind of explained. Well, anyways, so from what I can remember, I was talking about how they were splicing, you know, the what we would call human today uh, DNA. Some would say they were like animal-like beings on this planet. Um, before the Anunnaki came, so again, some people get it misconfused, uh, misscrewed, mis, uh, you just get it confused or, um, misunderstood, thinking that the Anunnaki was the ones that created humanity as a whole, far as, um, the whole creature or species, but, no, there were already a species here. Some, again, say like ape-like. Some would even say like African type. But also, you have to have an overstanding too. Some people believe that the Anunnaki were melanated beings, which would you would call black, <clears throat> whatever. Um, but again, some believe that there were some type of African type. This is where you get this monkey type of thing from too. Uh kind of race already here that was not so advanced but again take the story how you may this is just a story of the Anunnaki and some have again different opinions on why they were here and what they did but the primary um reason was to mine for gold <coughs> because something happened on their planet excuse me so as they were splicing the ape-like DNA to create the perfect human, I guess, of what we would see today. And again, some people think that not all of us were a part of that creation that was already here. I'm going to try to stay on topic because it's so deep. I can keep going in layers and layers, but I'm going to try to stay on the basic, you know, um, topic of more videos maybe breaking down different things like ISIS and um I knew you know the father and the mother but etc but anyways so when they did um get the final perfect creation which was the perfect human to do the work and do the labor this and that oh again to check out my last video if you haven't check out the content as as a whole but about the quote unquote black African American um that did the DNA test and um the news in Georgia says that this African American black quote unquote man was a direct sin a direct descendants of Ramesses the second and the Egyptian pharaoh. I forgot what dynasty or something it it's in but anyways it all correlates to to the whole Anunnaki too because they're saying that was the ones that um, created I guess the humans to do the work slave work etc some would even say the Anunnaki was the head ones in charge of making the slaves or whatever uh, to create the pyramids, etc. 
So, um, from my understanding, there was something going on. Uh, I don't know on Earth or, or back on their planet. I don't know if it's Nibiru, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that what the, the planet that they came from was Nibiru. Something was going on where the Anunnaki had to, I guess, leave Earth to go back into their original home. But, way I'm going a little bit too fast. If I'm not mistaken, Pinky or Lil, or both of them, start uh, sleeping with the Earth women. If I'm not mistaken, and other deities, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that part. This is where you get that the gods seeing the women of Earth, you know, and like with the gods, which I'm assuming would be males for most part. I'm assuming it would be males if they seen the the women of Earth and, you know, came into them, take that how you want, and bear children with them. Some would even say this is where the Nephilim come from. Like, get the likes up, you know, support the content. You know, I'll be dropping vids on that too. You know, talk to me, I'll talk back, but that's for a whole nother story. But this is the story too on how they uh some of them i guess left now again you have to remember too some people think that's that's even certain ethnic groups like blacks ancestors some believe that the so-called blacks were actually the race the original race that they built to be slaves some think humanity as a whole so it's different levels to the anunnaki but the primary story that that's um, you know studied and known is the one that I'm giving you now but there are definitely other versions then you got the Anunnaki looking like Miss Middle Eastern and then things of that nature but you also seen them with locks you also have to remember there are many star families not just the Anunnaki you got to remember you have the <clears throat> um, you have the um, Palladians which would be like tall white uh, looking beings, blonde hair, blue eyed, but that's for a whole nother story. But anyways, let me stay there on the topic of the Anunnaki, Inki, and Alil. So, I guess something happened where that some the Anunnaki was leaving uh, planet Earth, because in the story they say they just left us or whatever, right? Or left humanity. So some, from my understanding, there were some Anunnaki who actually, like I said, uh, came into the, this is how it's saying like in the Bible, the women of earth and bear children or just, you know, not the, you know, you get, you get what I'm saying, not the other word, but you follow me. And so my understanding is not every Anunnaki wanted to leave, you know, because they had children here and they, grew to, uh, you know, for a liking, you know, for the earth, women, etc. So, certain amount of Anunnaki went back, and certain Anunnaki stayed here. So, um, yeah, I'll come with part three. But yeah, so, it gets deep, but it all correlates with this whole content, you know, because it's very deep. So, some believe that that's why they say some never left, and some and that some they'll say they that they left. Some believe it's a myth. Some believe that these are facts of an extraterrestrial group, interdimensional beings, or whatever you want to call aliens. You know. So yeah, um, and it correlates also with the video because this goes into what you would call the Egyptians, the, you know, even the Sumerians. Syrians, if I'm saying that right, the Assyrians, you know, it, it gets deep, you know, some of these people, they feel like they're the same people or the off brand of the same very people that made the pyramids all over the world, you know, but yeah, so, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications, and I would like to hear, you know, your opinion about the Anunnaki, because not everybody has the same story. 
but the primary story that they give us is something happened on their planet where they somehow came here to mine for gold and they didn't want to do all the work themselves so they created the modern day human to do the work for them and some would call them the Egyptians this and that some may even think that some of them were actually the Anunnaki themselves or the Anunnaki may even have a bloodline right here on earth some of people think that we are the Anunnaki well yeah Get the likes up, get the subs up, you know, support the channel, check out the lives. I ain't been live in a while, but check them out. Let me know how you like them. You want me to go live more? You know, just support the channel. I will. Um, check out the vids. I'm going to drop part two. And this is going to correlate with the Anunnaki too. About the quote-unquote African-American man in Georgia that did the DNA test that had the, that was a, the is a direct descendant of Ramesses the second the Egyptian pharaoh so check out that video and check out the short fee support the channel man um you know so yeah I'm out triple ones I own us 13 Shout out to my underdog, Immortals. Get ready for a lot of the challenges in the test.